Hello, Psych2Goers, gather around. Yes, all of you. Don't psst just because the word alone is in the title. This is like the Fortress of Solitude. Badass, right? Yeah, all you quiet type introverts know what we mean. We can be alone and we aren't lonely. Yeah, 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 on Instagram, TikTok, whatever, there's an awful lot of tryhard shouting that constantly being around oodles of people is the best thing ever. Wanna know a secret? It ain't all that. In fact, sometimes the party person envies the happy to be alone person. If you can be satisfied and happy just spending time with yourself, you avoid massive FOMO anxiety and you don't need pants. Are the people independent? Throw your hands up at me. Bonus, being alone has even more benefits than just being good with your bad self. Things like, one, getting to focus on you and learning something new in the process. As super as we are, we have finite resources. Socially, a goodly chunk of our energy goes to fitting in somewhat. You know, things like watching what you say and negotiating activities so you can get along with others. But solo time means your resources are all yours. <sighs> yes. You can assess what's important to you and what you're passionate about, not what do all of you wanna do? So sign up for that dance class because you want to. Wanna learn Photoshop basics? You can watch all the tutorials. Hey, if you're still hankering for company after the fact, new learning means new people. Number two, boosting creativity. Not having to think or appease others means freedom. You may don a kilt if you wish. No pants bonus, remember? You have the freedom to let your mind's creativity go to town. No one else is exerting limitations or pressuring a specific agenda on you. If you're doing something for yourself and solo, you don't have to conform to anything. Let the innovating maestro in you fly high. You can choose later if you wanna share and trim accordingly at that time. So no big, right? Number three. Authenticity. Be like water, my friend. We know. Ironic that we're saying this in a video that's on YouTube via the internet. But that doesn't negate the fact that internet and info technology is a blessed with suck situation. Never before has so much knowledge and so many differing views been readily available. Yet, also, never before has there been so much noise drowning out your inner voice. The one that says, this is me. If you've ever wondered, is this what I think or is it just popular? Then you understand. Being able to shut the front door, giving yourself space and peace, lets you avoid becoming one of the sheeple. You get to think independently about who you are and what you stand for. Who do you wanna be for your sake? When you can get that solid grasp on your own identity, you naturally become more confident. You know yourself, so you can trust yourself and be authentic. Number four, it enhances the quality of your relationships. We're not advocating separation or breakups here. We just mean space. As much as we love our people, we get used to them. It doesn't mean you love them less, just they become part of the norm. Nothing stays novelty new forever. When you take time separately from the relationship to care for yourself, you take a break from that norm. That solo time lets you reaffirm your own value and what you bring, while at the same time increasing understanding and value in others. It's like refreshing the noticeability of the other person and the view of the relationship as a whole. Number five, it improves your mental well-being. You know, those days, Impatient clients, you're short-staffed, and you had to do overtime, and now you're home. The last thing you need is more questions, more demands, more, uh... Nope. Silence. Peace. Quiet. You want to think with no one barging in on you. Experiencing that spot of solitude and finding comfort in it improves stress management, increases life satisfaction, and enables focused attention which improves recall and retention of information. All of this, in short, lets you get a grip 
so you don't feel lost, hopeless, or compelled to do something unwise out of desperation. And number six, you can make sure that the cake is not a lie. You love someone. Okay, fine. You like someone. Or there's someone who makes you smile. And that's a positive. Happiness is a strange thing though, like a deceptively small cheesecake. It's sweet, it looks light, and when you have to eat a whole slice on your own, it feels like a brick. Being happy with someone is good. Giving someone the impossible responsibility for your happiness is a lose-lose for everyone. It's forcing this person to become an extension of you. You're bleeding off your power and giving it to them, depending on this outside source. Disappointment or a breakup becomes a traumatic amputation. Why nerf your powers? You know what you need. When you make your own happy cake, regardless of how outside influences turn out, you still have your cake. You are your own solid foundation. And even if you're not in Kansas anymore, you're still you. Processing emotions is like changing the frosting. You're still whole and you'll get over the piping not being purple anymore. No one dictates how you feel and no one owns you. If you're not used to being alone, it can feel a little unnerving. If so, ask yourself, I'm with me. Why do I feel uncomfortable? Is this the first time you haven't had to cater to others and you don't know how to cater to yourself? We tend to fear the unknown. Maybe you're not as happy with yourself as you believe, but you're awesome. Get to know you. To those of us who are comfortable alone, revel in your wisdom. You are the master of your fate. You are the captain of your soul and we salute you. How did these points affect you? And can you relate? When was the last time you realized that you thrive in solitude? Discuss, share, and like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.